Today we're gonna to be trying some new makeup. I actually did a little unboxing over on Instagram and I asked you guys what you wanted to see me try first. And there was definitely a majority of you that said a few of the products that I opened. So one of those things is the new Hourglass Foundation. So we're totally gonna to try that out today. A lot of people wanted to see me use the new Jaclyn Strawberry Collection. So we're also gonna try that out. And so many people wanted to see me try out the new uh, Makeup Forever Professional Mascara. It's like a double-sided one. So we're gonna try those out for sure. I also have some of the other products that people also wanted to see me try. I might try some of the other lip products that I was sent, but it just depends on the final result and if I wanna change my lip color after trying the Jaclyn collection. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna start off with the eyes because in the Jaclyn Strawberry Collection, first of all, how pretty is this? I didn't even mean to match my nails to this, but it literally matches perfectly. So inside, here's what we've got. We've got three liquid lipsticks and, oh, uh, well. <laughs> mm. I'll pick those up in a second. We've got three lip liners, three liquid lipsticks. We have a lip mask that's supposed to smell really amazing and be really amazing. And then we have a strawberry inspired eyeshadow palette, which looks so cute. So we're totally gonna use that on the eyes. Hold on, let me pick up the lipsticks. I didn't realize how not secure they were, <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't have tipped it up that high. Okay. I did my brows already off camera, so I'm just gonna prime the eyes using my usual NARS eyeshadow primer. Okay, so the Strawberry Feels palette is this right here. This retails for $34. There are 10 shades in here, but they do have really good size pans, which is great. I was wondering if it was gonna smell like strawberries, but it doesn't have a scent to it, so. Just wanted to point that out as well. I believe this is Jaclyn's first official eyeshadow palette. I know she did a collaboration with her mom, so that also counts as her brand's like first eyeshadow palette, but this is like her own, you know what I mean? So I'm really excited to try this. Oh, before we do that though, I do wanna kind of prep the lips using the strawberry lip mask. So this is the So Jelly Lip Mask. This retails for $22. I love the hot pink packaging. It's a glass container. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh, that smells so good. Ooh, okay, so it's very jelly-y. I just grabbed a bit with my finger. Mmm. Ooh, that feels so nice on the lips. And it smells divine. Oh, she wasn't kidding. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let that sink in while we do the eyeshadow. And for the eyeshadow, we're gonna start off with this shade right here. This is called Shortcake. We're gonna kick things off with this, using this as our transition shade. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a gorgeous light pink. She was saying on her Instagram story the other day that shortcake is kind of deceiving in the pan. It almost looks like it's gonna be brown, but it's the prettiest light blush pink once you apply it to the eyes. And I definitely see what she's saying. That's so pretty. It matches my shirt perfectly. <laughs> I'm already really into this. Okay, so I'm just gonna build this up toward the brow a little bit. I'm gonna then take this shade right here, which is kind of a peachy color. This is called Picnic Pie. Very yummy sounding shades. And I'm gonna start throwing this on the outer portion of the lid, just to kind of warm things up there. Ooh, this is a pretty color too. I kind of like how most of these shades in this palette are matte. There's only two shimmers. So I feel like it'd be so pretty to just do any one of the matte colors all over the lid and like that's the look. I'm of course gonna try to make it a little bit more special by using a few of them today, but I actually love how many matte colors there are now that I look at it again. So pretty. Okay, we're gonna take Sugar Coated, which is one of the shimmer shades. I do wanna use this on the lid. I'm gonna take this on my fingertip. This is just like a champagne color, but it kind of looks like it has a pink undertone to it. So we'll see how it looks once we apply it. Ooh, yeah, that's so pretty. I'm just taking this on my finger and applying it in the inner third of that top lid blending it into the matte shades with my finger. That is so pretty. I'm just going back in with that fluffy brush just to kind of buff the edges together between the matte and the shimmer. Okay, next I really wanna try the shade Lemonade. So Jacqueline has been saying on her Instagram stories that she often takes Shortcake and Lemonade and those are the only two shades she uses to create like an eye look and I just really wanted to try the Lemonade color. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of this on that outer edge as well. Just to add back a little bit of pink. I think that's so pretty, wow. Ooh, that really added something special. I like that a lot. I'm gonna go back in with the brush that we were using um, with the transition shade and with the other color, just to blend that one more time. And I feel like, hopefully it's translating on camera the way it is in person, because it seems like it's a little bit more bold. Well, it's a soft bold. It doesn't look too intense, but in my monitor, it kind of is looking softer than what it looks like 
in a mirror, you can really see the pinks, but it's not over the top. So I think that's really pretty. This is where I wanna keep the eye look because if I do decide to wear a bold lip from the collection, I don't want the eyes and the lips to clash too much. So I wanna keep something more simple. So I'm just gonna take the makeup wipe and clean up the edges. I'm just gonna pat that down with my fingertip and make sure the pink is still there. I'm just adding what's left on the brush just slightly closer to the brows. Okay, I'm gonna pop on mascara now, which I suppose is gonna be the Makeup Forever mascara since that's what you wanted me to try. So again, this is the professional mascara and there are two sides to it. One side, here, let me show you up close. One side lifts, step one, and then step two gives you volume. So I've got the little paper right here, so let's see. You can use either alone, but you can also layer them. I'm totally gonna layer them. <laughs> So this is supposed to have 24 hour wear. It's supposed to be sweat proof and flake free. We will have to see about that. Um, I'll definitely let you guys know how it ends up working for me. So we're gonna start off with step one. Here is the brush, it's really thin. And again, this is supposed to lift and separate. So I'm gonna start with this, really focusing it on the roots of my lashes to hopefully lift and separate like it claims. Okay, I definitely feel like it did. I'm gonna do one eye at a time because I really don't want it to dry down too much before I add on the second layer. So now we're gonna go into the volume layer and you can see the brush is quite different. The formula is different on this side as well. So let's see how this looks when we layer this. This is supposed to be for volume and intensity, which that's what I'm all about. So I'm not gonna be shy with this. I definitely do see it building up on top of that first one. Wow, ooh. And I'm wanting to focus this on the outer portions. So we kind of get like a lifted look on the edge. But that looks really pretty. Okay, that's actually like prettier than I anticipated. So here's the before, here's the before, here's the after. Obviously for me, we're gonna have to really see if it smudges or flakes. But application, I'm actually impressed. So let's do the same thing. We'll do the lifting and lengthening on this side. It's kind of nice to have two different size spoolies as well. Cause when I think about doing the lower lash mascara, like this one's gonna work really well just because of the smaller size. But also if you're somebody who wants more of like that just natural everyday look, you could just use this on the top lashes and then call it good. See the difference? Like this is just the lengthening and that's the one with the volumizing one on top. So it really does add volume. So we're gonna do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, so half my eye look is done. We're now gonna try out the new Hourglass. Let's see, this is called the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. They sent me three different shades. I'm thinking the shade three is gonna be my best bet. And even then I'm hoping it's not too deep, but we will see. So oh, I think it'll be fine actually. I actually do have a paper that came in the mail with this so I can kind of tell you about it. So here's the little card. This comes in 32 shades. It's supposed to have a 16 hour wear. It's supposed to be transfer resistant. There's supposed to be blue light protection. It's non-comedogenic, which means it doesn't clog your pores. And it's supposed to have a medium buildable finish with a natural soft glow. And it says to just buff it into clean skin using the new ambient soft glow foundation brush. I don't know if they sent me the foundation brush. I don't think they did. So I'm just gonna use one of my foundation brushes. It has a glass bottle with a pump. I'm just gonna test the shade one more time. It does lean a little bit warm, but I think because of the tone of this, this is still gonna be my best bet. I'm not gonna use any primer because I really wanna see how this works. I'm so curious because you guys know I'm obsessed with my NARS foundation right now. So I don't always try or wanna try new things right now, but I will say this one really intrigued me. So let's go ahead and do just one pump, which is about that much on the back of my hand. I'm gonna take about half of that and pick it up with my foundation brush. And I'm going to do just half the face so we can see the difference. Okay, it said to buff, so I'm trying to kind of buff it. Ooh, so you can see there's great coverage, but it's not heavy. I've been seeing people really actually like this foundation, which is what made me really wanna try it. I'm just gonna apply some on the forehead. I'm gonna make sure to blend it down the neck. And then I feel like I always like to press it in with a sponge, even if I do use a brush, no matter what foundation I'm using. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's take a look at this up close. You can see the before, the after. It definitely covered up my redness, which is really nice. And I will say it has actually more of a blurring, soft focus kind of a finish than what I was expecting. I feel like I was expecting it to be a lot more dewy, but it feels like it actually sets pretty well without 
looking drying. Like you can see there's still a bit of a glow to it, but it's not a tacky, dewy, balmy kind of a foundation, which I don't know why, but that's kind of what I had in my head when picturing this foundation. It actually looks really, really nice. I love the blurring effect that it's giving in my T-zone. I don't know if you can really see, but you see how like my pores are obviously, I mean, you can see them because I don't have any makeup on, but here they kind of look blurred, right? I don't know. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and put a little bit more on the other side of my face. And honestly, I feel like this shade is fine. It does pull a little bit more yellow on me, but I feel like once everything else is said and done and we've got like concealer and bronzer, it'll hopefully balance itself out. So I would say that it also has a medium coverage, but I can see how you could build it up if you needed more. I like the level of coverage that it's giving me because I still feel like you can see my skin through it in a way, but it really does soften any redness or cancel out any existing blemishes that I might have. Okay, so interesting. I just pressed it in with my sponge, but on this half of the face, it feels like it really actually sets into the skin, which is nice. It takes a few minutes to do that because this one feels a little bit more tacky, but I was curious about that because it does claim to have such a long wear time, like 16 hours is a pretty long time, but I do feel like it really is setting and locking in, which is so nice. I think it looks really pretty, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer, my powder, my bronzer, all of that. And then we'll come back, finish up the eyes, try on the lips and see if there's anything else that we wanna try today to complete the look. So far so good with everything though. The foundation's actually impressing me more than I thought. And it's quite different than the NARS one. So I'm so intrigued to see how this wears tonight. All right, I'll see you guys in a second as I finish up my makeup a little bit more. All right, so I've got concealer, powder and bronzer on. We're gonna go ahead and finish up the lower lash line. I'm gonna start off with, let's take a little bit of shortcake on a small brush. I'm gonna tap off the excess and just start really working this underneath the lower lash line. I love this color. I think it's so perfect for a pink eye look because it's like a neutral pink. So it really works to kind of blend the brighter colors into the skin tone a little bit more naturally without using a brown or a bronzer or something like that. It's really nice. All right, next I'm gonna take Picnic Pie, which is the orange one. And I'm actually gonna kind of mix strawberry in that one since we ended up kind of layering the two on the top lid. And I'm gonna start applying this to the outer third of that lower lash line, connecting it to the existing shadows on the top lid. And then to complete the lower lash line, we're gonna take Sugar Coated, which is the kind of champagne pink shade that we used. I'm gonna take this on a brush and I'm gonna spray it with setting spray just so that it doesn't have any fallout. And this is what I'm gonna to use to kind of brighten up that inner portion. Ooh, that looks so pretty on the lower lash line. And I am even going to use it to highlight the inner corner. So we're just gonna kind of use it in a V shape like that. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm gonna take what's left on the brush and just kind of pat that underneath the high points of the brow. And then I'm gonna go back in with the brush we used with those matte shades and just kind of buff it underneath that shimmer shade. I'm not adding any more product to this brush. I'm just wanting to blend all the colors together a little better. All right, we're gonna use the mascara. I kinda wanna see what just the lift one would do on the lower lashes, since again, it has that really nice thin applicator. So we're gonna start with this and see if we like it. Okay, so it definitely separates and creates length, but it doesn't create that much volume. I love volume on my lower lash line, so I am gonna add a little bit of the second formula right on top, keeping that closer to the lash line just so I can have a little more volume on that lower lash line. There we go. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, I'm loving <laughs> how this is looking. I'm loving the pink tones on the eyes. It's been a long time since I've done a proper pink eye that's not like super soft or mixed with browns, you know? So let's go ahead and swatch the lip colors next. So she has three shades and this one specifically looks so cool. This is called Sugared and it's more of like an orange. So I'm gonna swatch these on my hand as I go. Woo, this is pretty. So here's the Sugared Lip Liner. And then this is just her normal liquid lipstick formula, which I've used quite a bit and they're actually really comfortable and really long wearing. They are pretty matte though, so just keep that in mind. Here's that one. It's a very bright orange. To me, this would be more of like a statement lip. So I personally feel like with an eye look like this, I would use something a little more muted, but we're gonna try them all on anyway. <laughs> Next up is called Strawberry Cake. Yes, these names are making me hungry. So this is a little bit more pink, but it's still a very vibrant pink. Ooh, and they smell like strawberries. Oh my gosh. So here's that one, very bright. And then we have 
Juicy, which is the last color. Oh, that's pretty. It's more of like a fuchsia almost. Here's the Juicy Liquid Lip right next to it. Ooh, very pretty. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, we're gonna try all these on on the lips too. And then once I decide on a lip color, then we can finish up like the cheeks and stuff. So I'm gonna blot off a bit of that uh, lip balm, which actually really hydrated my lips. That feels really nice. We're gonna start with brightest and move to darkest. We're gonna start with the orange one. Again, this is called Sugared. I love the Jaclyn lip liners. They're so smooth. With the liquid lips, I like to just use a little bit and then press my lips together and then use my fingers to kind of blend that out. Okay, that is such a fun color. It's definitely one that again, I would wear on its own. I just feel like it would be such a cool statement with something super simple on the eyes. I don't think I own something quite like this. I own a lot of like red orange lips, but this is almost like a pure pinky orange, which makes it really special and unique. So there's sugar. Let's try the next one. Next, we're gonna try out strawberry cake. Oops, I kind of messed up the lip lines on that, but here's strawberry cake. It has just as much intensity as sugared, but it's definitely pink. Like it's a bright, bright, bright pink. I think this is really pretty as well. But again, probably something that I would wear more on its own and not with something this soft on the eyes and pink on the eyes. Like I would keep it pretty basic, but that is a fun color. Ooh, these lip colors are really, really fun and unique. That's so perfect for summer, don't you think? All right, let's try out the last color. And last but not least, this shade is called Juicy. Okay, Juicy might be my favorite one. This is so pretty. I love that it's not quite a red. It's just a very vibrant, almost fuchsia pink, but it almost looks red in the sense that it's very flattering and a very wearable hot pink color. I love this one. All three were really cool. Let me know in the comments down below which one you liked the best, but I think this one might be my favorite. This is so pretty. So I'm debating in my mind, you guys, because I actually do think this lip color looks pretty good with the eye look that I have going on. But even then, I feel like I'm going for something very specific because I'm going out to dinner with friends tonight. And so part of me is like, do I want to fuss about a bright lip at dinner? The other part of me is like, it looks really cute. Maybe I should. Yeah, the formula is really comfortable. I would say something I've learned with this formula is to use a little bit, like it's very pigmented, so less is more. And it definitely dries down feeling matte, but it's not uncomfortable and it lasts a really long time. So I'm debating because my other option is to pull from this collection. This is the Bobbi Brown Summer Collection, which I also shared on my Instagram stories. And a lot of you guys want to see me try some of these things. So this is the Real Nudes Collection. They sent a little bucket hat, which was so cute. Um, but they have three new shimmer shades of one of my favorite formulas from Bobbi Brown, the crushed oil infused glosses. And then we have some highlighters. So why don't I try out one of these highlighters and then oh, I feel like it would be so pretty to layer on one of these sparkly glosses. Do you see what I'm saying? Like if it was more of like a nude lip with a sparkly gloss, I might end up trying that as well. First, let's try out this highlight. So this is the highlighting powder in the shade Quartz Glow. This looks so pretty. So I'm just gonna pick this up on a highlight brush and I'm gonna start really buffing it into the skin. It's melting into the skin so beautifully. This is more of a baked formula, which I think is so pretty. Same thing on this side. We'll do a little bit down the center of the nose. Ooh, that's gorgeous. It really melts into the skin. We're just gonna try something. If I miss the bright lip, we can always reapply it, you know? My lips are a little bit stained now from the liquid lips, which is normal with any bright lip color like that. I'm gonna try out a little bit of a different lip combo just to see how I feel. I actually just bought this lip liner. This is a Anastasia lip liner in deep taupe, which I know feels kind of brown and boring compared to the other shades we were just using. I'm just gonna blend that in with my finger. Then I'm gonna take one of my all-time favorite lipsticks from Makeup by Mario. This is in the shade Erin. And I'm actually gonna put a little of that in the center of the lips. Do you see what I'm envisioning here? Like I know it's more of like a muted lip, but because of the bright eye, I just feel like it goes a little bit better and it looks a little more chic, a little more 90s, I don't know. And I do wanna try one of these sparkly crushed glosses. Ooh, this one's really pretty because it kind of pulls in that champagne on my eyes but I also really like the more golden tone. <gasps> How does one pick between these two? Oh my goodness, okay. Since I'm doing a little more of a deep lip, mm, no, I don't know. Let's try the darker one first. This is just a little bit darker. This is called Bellini. It's more of like a peach. Oh, I'm so excited, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna take this and apply it all over. This has really pretty, like visibly pink gold sparkle to it. I think that looks so nice. 
What if we add a little bit of the lighter color, which is called Bare Sparkle? We can try that almost like a highlight in a way, just right here on the cupid's bow almost, and then right here in the center of the bottom lip. I don't know, I kind of am really feeling that. I really like how that looks. Ooh, I feel like it looks juicy, you know? That's so cute. Okay, for blush, we are going to use these two blushes from Persona Cosmetics. Actually, I love these, but I just remembered I'm doing a foundation review and I kind of want to like, stick to powder just to make sure we don't mess anything up. So I actually have the Rouge Romance palette from Jaclyn Cosmetics, which I feel like will match this aesthetic perfectly. So let's take a little bit of French Kiss and Admirer. Mix those two and just gently start pressing that on the apples of the cheeks. Okay, I'm just assessing the situation, adding a little more bronzer to the forehead with what's left on the brush. Everything else though, I really like where it's at. That highlighter is stunning. I'm glad that I ended up trying that because it's so pretty. The foundation also still looks really nice. So again, since I'm doing a foundation review, I usually, especially since I'm going out, I would usually set the face and really make sure that it looks perfect in the way that I like, which, you know, for me works best when I use a setting spray. But we gotta see how this foundation is gonna work without the help of a setting spray. So I'm just gonna go straight into brow gel. This is from Keys Soul Care. Just gonna run that through the brows. All right, you guys, so that completes this look, trying out a bunch of new things that I received in PR. I love how it turned out. This is definitely such a vibe and I think it really matches my pink shirt today, my pink nails. I think it was such a fun PR day and collection with the strawberry theme to kind of try out today. So let's go through everything really quickly and just I'll give you my first impressions. And then in order to make this not a 40 minute video or something like that, I'm gonna do updates in the description box down below. So I'll let you know how it looked at the end of the night and I'll tell you what were hits and misses based off of tonight. Let's start off with the Jack strawberry collection so the lip mask was so yummy I definitely will have to like use it more to see if it really makes a difference but as far as lip prep goes which is what I tried it for today it worked really well and the flavor and the smell is fantastic it's so nice the eyeshadow palette, I feel like I was able to create something so gorgeous. I'm definitely excited to dip into some of these deeper tones because you could really go pretty smoky with this kind of a palette. So if you're into pinks and burgundies and those types of colors, I think you would really enjoy this palette. The formula blended out like a dream and I'm obsessed with kind of this soft champagne pink shimmer moving into those brighter colors, but it's not overpowering. Like it still is very wearable, which I really appreciate. So. I'm excited about that. The mascara, you guys, I think it looks so pretty. Um, check the description box to see how it wears because that's my only thing. If it wears well tonight, I'm super excited about it, but mascaras do tend to smudge or flake on me, so it just depends. Um, I actually like this more than I thought I would. When I first saw it, I was like, the packaging's kind of interesting. Not sure if I loved a two-step situation, but I love the effect that it gave, so let's hope that it wears well. Check the description box for the update on that. Guys, the Hourglass Foundation, holy smokes. Like, it's really beautiful. This almost has more of a glamorous finish versus my NARS foundation. I'm comparing that because that's the one I've been using nonstop. So the NARS one is more like skincare based, a little more dewy, a little more sheer, a little more flexible. This one has a little bit more of that soft focus finish and it sets down so it has a slightly more powdery finish, but it's not dusty. Like, it's not powder. You still get a little bit of a glow to it. I can't wait to see how this wears tonight, but I am obsessed with how it looks like it's very airbrushed looking it's not going to be something that for me would be maybe a everyday foundation as far as like more sheer tinted kind of a vibe it's more of a foundation foundation but it looks so pretty on the skin of course we'll have to see how it wears tonight and i'm interested to see what my friend thinks about it because i'm going to dinner with my friend bonnie she's been on my channel a couple times and she loves makeup so maybe i'll try to pay attention to if she asks me about it or maybe i will ask her straight up and just see her opinion especially at the end of the night to really get a feel for how it's looking. The Jaclyn lip colors were so fun. I'm kind of like bummed that I didn't get to wear one just because it wasn't quite the vibe I was going for with the pink on the eyes. I wanted something a little softer, um, but I really did enjoy all three colors. I'm not sure where the third color is. Somewhere on my desk. So pretty. I definitely think my personal favorite is Juicy. There was something really special about that, but all three are really special and unique and so fun for summer. So I'm excited about those too. 
Of course, you'd have to be a liquid lip type of a person to enjoy them, but I think there's a time and a place, especially with brighter colors. I like when it's a liquid lipstick, so I don't have to worry about it like falling all over the place or getting all over. Okay, the Bobbi Brown highlight, that was an unexpected favorite of today. How pretty, like this just melted into the skin and I bet you it would look even more melted had I used a setting spray like I normally would, but it's really just stunning. I'm thrilled about this. Um, same with the crushed oil infused glosses. These are definitely more sparkly, like you can see the visible glitter on the lips, but it's not a scratchy glitter as far as the texture goes. It's a little bit thicker of a texture, so it's almost like the glitter particles are like suspended in there, so you don't get a scratchy glittery feel. You just get that iridescence especially from a distance, um, but you do see it. So that's something to point out. If you're not a fan of like glitter on the lips, well, you know, I feel like it's kind of meshed in the lips a little better. It's not super obvious, but there's definitely visible glitter specks in it. I think they're so pretty. I'm definitely gonna pack these in my purse tonight to touch up. So, wow, I'm really thrilled about everything that I tried. I will say, based off my first impressions, the things that I'm really excited about, oh gosh, I don't know, I think I had a really good makeup day, but the Hourglass Foundation is like really pretty, so I'm really thrilled to keep using that. And let's see, if I had to pick something else, uh, I wanna say the mascara, but I, I need more time. We gotta see how it wears tonight. So, you know, something that kind of surprised me was the highlight. I think it's really gorgeous. And then I also have to say the eyeshadow palette was something that I thought I might like, but after I applied it on the eyes, I'm really excited about it and feel like I will get some use out of this during the summer. I like how they're all colorful, but there's a few neutrals in here that really help ground things. Specifically the shortcake shade, that's something really special. So I'm excited about that. Again, check the description box for an update on how everything wore, but so far so good with my first impressions. I love this. I love when new things that I'm excited about um, live up to the hype or sometimes exceed my expectations like this is doing so far. So I'll keep you guys posted. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these yet. I know some of them just barely launched. So did you end up picking them up? Have you received them yet? Have you tried them? I wanna know in the comments down below what you think about them, especially the foundation, because this has been out for a minute now. So if you've tried this, tell me in the comments how it's been working for you. I would love to hear. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.